Hi everybody, this is Bev Gray from Technique Tuesday. Today I want to show you how you can make some really great interactive cards using the Shade and Balance die. Let's get started. Now the Shade and Balance die looks like this. And when you cut it apart, you'll end up with three pieces. The mini blinds that look like this. The little balance that goes up top here and gets, is all scallopy. And then you also get a set of words that says, what's up? Now the project I'm going to be showing you the steps to make right now are with this little um, llama. And so there's a window where you can pull it open and you can see the llama through that window. And then if you open up the card, there's a little scene inside. So I'm going to show you the steps that we go through to make this little um, mini blind look. Now when you die cut out the blinds, they're going to look something like this. And one thing I've found is that a lot of times the little dots get stuck either in the die itself, and you can do some things like just tapping it like that in order to get those little dots to pop out of there. But the other thing is I always keep just a little push pin nearby so that I can poke out really quickly the ones that get left in the die or in the die cut piece. Now once you've got it all die cut out and you've got all the little holes popped out of it, you just want to go back and forth doing peaks and valleys and fold it like this. And when you have it all folded together, it's going to look like that. Now the next step is to thread something through the mini blind. And you're going to want about maybe a foot of thread to go through. The next thing that I do is I actually get some tape and I just pull off a small, small, small little piece of it. And then what I do is I just roll it onto the end of this. And when you roll that little piece of tape onto the end of it, it does two things. One is it makes it so much easier for you to actually thread it through um, all those little holes. So I just squish the accordion folds together and pull it through like that. And the second reason you want to put that tape on there is it keeps it from fraying. Now the other tip I want to give you is that when you are threading it through those mini blinds, what you want to do is you want the U to be down at the bottom where there's a mountain coming up and you want the open uh, ends, the two ends, to be up at the top where there's a flat part. And the reason is that flat part is going to get adhered down to your project. So when you're threading it, just keep all of that in mind. Now once you've got this all accordion folded like this, you're going to want to use just some old snail adhesive and you're going to want to put it between the two strips um, of the string. So you don't want to go all the way to the edge of the string because you want the string to be able to pull up and down. So just in between those two. And then you're going to go ahead and adhere this piece onto your project over whatever window or thing that you're wanting to hide. Now the next tip I want to give you is about the valance. And what you want to do here is you actually uh, either want some of this thicker dimensional adhesive like this, or if you're like me, when I was doing the Alama project, I didn't have any of the thicker stuff. You can also use the thinner dimensional adhesive, but you might want to stack a couple pieces up. So in this case, I needed the valance to be raised up a little bit higher, so I just stacked a couple of these on top of each other. And now the way that I did this, you guys, is I put um, a couple of the big pieces in each of each of these spots and then I took one of the smaller ones and put it in each corner. So there was a small one in each corner and then three of the bigger ones across the middle of it. And then I just went ahead and adhered the balance over the top of the mini blinds on my project. And that leaves room for um, the little strings to operate up and down like that. Now the project I've been showing you features one of our Animal House stamp sets called Lorenzo the Llama, and I really enjoyed making this card with its little scene inside of it. Now this um, balance and mini blinds die was really designed to work with any number of different types of cards, but it works especially well with a number of the Animal House stamp sets, and let me show you more. Here's an example of the um, Leo, Leonardo the Lion stamp set. And in this case, this was one of my very early ones that I made. I used pretty stiff cord, and I found that I don't really like that stiff cord. It makes it sort of stick out in odd directions and not lay very well. Um, but this is a little baby card. So you can see how that might work for a baby card. Now another one that we enjoyed making recently at a make and take here in the Portland area was featuring 
the Fra Floyd and Franny the Flamingo stamp set. And so here you can see this could go for any number of occasions, just talking about hope your day is outstanding. Now if you're like me, you give a lot of thank you notes. So in this case, this actually isn't part of our animal house. This is our Chickadees 2.0 stamp set. And you can see here, it's just saying thank you on that card. Now there are a couple cute little things on this project I want to point out. This features Frederick and Fiona the foxes. And in this particular card, Terry actually wrapped washi tape around the ends of the, um, the string. And then she also tied a knot. So that's another way to get a really nice finished look. The other thing I want to point out here is this This includes the little die cut phrase, what's up, that comes with that mini blinds and balance die. The last project I want to show you features Sammy the squirrel. And here Sammy the squirrel is behind that little mini blind and it says from one nut to another, squirrel. So I just thought that was pretty cute. I hope you enjoyed seeing all these project ideas you can make with the balance and mini blinds die. If you'd like to see more projects like these, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.